Southwest Virginia and Northeast Tennessee is rich in music heritage, whether it be bluegrass, country, folk, blues, Americana, or rock and roll. This area has a diverse group of talented musicians. Let's get to know some of the area's top musicians and new rising stars. become a band since January yeah uh, basically officially um, that's kind of when uh, four of us got together but Brian and I've been playing shows as a duo for uh, about a year and a half now how'd you guys meet um, Brian and I actually knew each other from maybe back in high school and just kind of uh, ended up meeting up uh, kind of uh, Coincidentally, about a year and a half ago. I knew Trey back in high school. We had a couple, class yeah, we had Spanish class together. That's <laughs> great. Um, and Trent we found on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Facebook, right? Yeah. Or Facebook. Right? Either one, it was social media. I had posted a, a Facebook status <laughs> looking for a drummer after I had connected with Trey when I moved back into the area. and. Uh, I'd seen some solo stuff that he had posted, and I asked him if he'd be interested in forming a full band, and he said absolutely. And he he was already playing with Brian, so we just had to find a drummer. And, and by the third show, they threw me in. <laughs> yeah, or third, third practice. practice. Yeah, third, third practice. Three practices, the then a show, our first show. And what do you call your genre of music? It's your that's, style. That's a tough question. Let's let Trey in. Trey, <laughs> take a stab at it. Give a couple options. <laughs> yeah, I'd say indie rock, blues rock, uh, kind of folkish at times. Mm -hmm. It kind of rounds us out. It's definitely different. Yeah, the EP is more centered around uh, folk, I guess. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's on acoustic guitar, yeah. and then we recorded an LP today, a full-length album. That's more. That's more of your indie rock. Yeah, for sure. And you start in January, it's April, you got your EPL, mm -hmm. you record a LP today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and got a show. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are moving along quickly. We are. We also are recording a music video in June. Yeah, beginning of June. <clears throat> and that's uh, going to be for the song The Mazes that's on the EP. Or the mural. Yeah, depending. We have yeah, we'll, we still got to talk what about we decide, it. But yeah, well, we're moving right along for sure. We're giving some insight on that today, so it's maybe up in the air. Yeah. Who's your guys' biggest influences when you're growing up, or? Uh, some of mine were. Uh, I love bands like uh, Casino and Color Revolt. Um, I was always a big fan of Ryan Adams. Um, yeah, any any kind of indie rock band. Same for me. Like things like Delta Spirit and anything indie rock. And I used to listen to actually some heavier music back in the day, but I've kind of steered away from that as of late. But definitely singer songwriter, acoustic folk stuff for me. Trent's our funk guy. Yeah, <laughs> I come from Trent's our everything guy. Yeah. He's the bad drummer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My uh, main influences, you can hear a lot of Stuart Copeland, Police, and Led Zeppelin playing throughout. And then it, it is a lot of funk, like some meters, some James Brown. I just like to dance, so <laughs> I like to make the that's audience a great dance. Answer. I just like to dance. <laughs> that's what the drummer does. I, I'd say some of my bass influences, like uh, got started on the early pop John Mayer stuff and uh, Jimmy Eat World, kind of like emo, yes. emo core. Type Same for me. Music, <laughs> and uh, yeah, progress of the years, so like the John Mayer Trio and. Pino Paladino and guys like that, you know, just kind of stuck with me. That's where I get most of my influences. Is it, you know, starting out as a new band, is it hard getting shows in the area and getting booked? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ryan's usually our yeah. guy for that, and uh, he works really hard at it. Um, but yeah, it, it's kind of hard to, you know, there's to break There's a lot of great musicians in the area already. There's a lot of reputation built up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of 
a lot of competition, I guess. We have some shows coming up, though. I mean, we're playing at Bloom soon and Damascus Brewery, and I think we're we're moving at a decent rate for for what we've done and where we're at as a band. Yeah. And plus, we have to keep all our day jobs, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we can't. Right. We got to yeah. be lenient with how many shows we book. <laughs> yeah. Or we'll get fired. Yeah. Well, I think it's all most musicians. They all have day jobs. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah. Yeah, most, most of them do. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, it's definitely not uh, not as much about the money as it is just the passion for it and the, the willingness to, to get out there and do it. You yeah. guys ever recorded before? Um, yeah. yeah, 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 plenty of times. Um, today was our first time uh, ever really recording as a full band. Though. Yeah. That's right, your own music? And yeah, 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 we're pretty much an all original band. We throw in some covers here and there, but it's rare that we do. Maybe depending on the venue, you know, if they request it, basically. But, yeah. Where do you yeah, guys see yourself on. ten years from now? On stage, touring. On stage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, private the airplane. That's doing the, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> that's the <laughs> idea, anyways, yeah. is to ditch the day job and make, you know, make the band the day job. Yeah. Who who produced your album? Um, the EP. Um, was recorded and produced mainly by me. Um, we recorded one song at Fahrenheit Studios in Johnson City, and that was back in 2010, I think. And uh, Dan Fair, that we just recorded with today, recorded one of the songs. But the other three were recorded in uh, my apartment in Nashville back in like 2010, 2011. Wow. We mastered them ourselves. Yeah. The EP, um, we did the mastering ourselves. You guys have a very unique sound that Thank you don't you hear from it. other bands. You're distinct in that way. That's that's good to hear. I think that's, that's, yeah. I think that's a good that's call. That's what we're aiming for. How long have you been playing guitar? Mm, man, I got, a, I got a squire back in the day for Christmas when I was like 13. But I didn't really take it seriously until right before college, probably. Writing songs, my own songs, and I had some lessons. And, but yeah, definitely towards the end of high school and beginning of college was when I really started hitting that hard. Seems like most interviews I'm doing is everybody gets started around age of 13. That's been the magic number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for everybody. I hear that ACDC or some, some rock music that drives them to pick one up, I guess. Yeah, that was it for me too. Yeah, 13 year old. 13. When did you start playing drums? I started playing with uh, around 12 years old. And I got serious with it at 16 and maintained a crucial schedule two hours a day. His his schedule is meticulous. He has a regimented member of the band. He has it mapped out his daily routine from morning to midday to evening. And I've taken some of his advice and started downloading some apps like Habit Bull and some other things. and. It's, so, it's you, pretty OCD. You run through a, a different artist, a different drummer a week. And different influence every two weeks. From yep. different genres, right? Yep. yep. Try to keep it interesting. And I like to do what other drummers have already done. I try to come up with these original drum parts that stand out but complement the music that Trey and the rest of the group have written. No, I think he gets bored playing some of our stuff sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely does. Can you dumb it down for us? Yeah. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of guitars in the area, and each one you see, they have a different style. Yeah. 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 And they're all different. Yeah, but they're all has, great in their own way. Everybody has their own distinguishable character, I think. For sure. Oh, it's a uh, uh, teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bloom. Bloom Cafe. Okay. Yeah. Any more shows the, booked in the future that you know about? July 7th at Damascus Brewery. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, August 4th at the Old Salem Brewery in Salem, Virginia. Wow. And uh, like Wes was talking about earlier, we're going to Nashville in June to record a video. And, um, we're yeah. looking to book some more shows. Hitting yeah. the big time, aren't you? Hmm. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that, but, yeah. So maybe next year we'll see you guys at the Rhythm Roots, right? Yeah, there we, we go. We were yeah. actually talking to um, JP about that. And yeah. Trying to get on this year, but we don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think so. It's The lineup's full, I think. Mm -hmm.